What if the most powerful telescope in history has just shown us something we were never meant to see? What if everything we've ever believed about the origin of our universe, about time, space, and reality itself, is collapsing under the weight of new evidence? The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to peer into the earliest light of the cosmos, has now delivered data so unsettling that a Nobel Prize-winning physicist has broken his silence with one simple, terrifying message. This is not our universe. What exactly did the James Webb Telescope find at the very edge of everything? And why are scientists warning that it could rewrite the very foundation of cosmology as we know it? Keep watching, because what you're about to hear changes everything. In a corner of the sky filled with ancient light, the James Webb Telescope captured what looked like a simple yellow splotch. But when astronomers took a closer look, their assumptions collapsed. That tiny glowing blob wasn't just another galaxy. It was the most distant galaxy ever seen, formed just 290 million years after the supposed birth of the universe. But here's the impossible part. It's too massive, too bright, and too evolved to have formed so soon after the Big Bang. By our current theories, there simply wasn't enough time or matter to form galaxies like this in the early universe. And yet, here it is. And it's not alone. Webb has now found dozens more just like it. Each one is a cosmic paradox, breaking every rule we thought we understood about the early universe. Scientists began to dig deeper, and what they found was even stranger. Some of these early universe objects aren't just massive, they're completely foreign to anything we've seen before. Unlike normal galaxies, which convert about 10% of their gas into stars, Webb discovered at least three galaxies that have turned 100% of their matter into stars. No gas, no dust, just pure, blazing starlight. That's not just unusual. It's impossible according to every existing model of galaxy formation. So now scientists are asking a far more terrifying question. What if these aren't galaxies at all? What if we're not seeing the early universe, but something else entirely? A structure from another dimension? A remnant of a previous cosmos? Or an intrusion from another universe altogether? To understand why this is shaking cosmology to its core, we need to talk about the Hubble sphere and the observable universe. The farther away an object is, the faster it moves away from us due to the expansion of space. At a certain point, called the Hubble sphere, galaxies are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. Common sense says we shouldn't be able to see those galaxies, yet we can. That's because space itself is expanding, and the boundary of what we can see keeps stretching. But beyond that boundary lies something terrifying, a region of the universe that we will never reach, and that will never reach us. And yet, the James Webb Telescope is now picking up light and signals from these impossible zones. Light that should never have reached us. Which leads to one conclusion. We are seeing beyond the edge of our universe, and no one knows what lies on the other side. Webb's data is forcing scientists to ask the unthinkable. What if the universe never had a beginning? Some Nobel laureates are now openly questioning the Big Bang model. Because if galaxies could form faster than physics allows, if light can reach us from beyond cosmic boundaries, and if structures appear that defy time, scale, and mass, then maybe we've misunderstood everything. Maybe the early universe isn't early at all. Maybe what we're seeing isn't a timeline, but a fracture, a place where two universes overlap, or worse, where something far older than our universe is bleeding through. Whatever it is, it doesn't fit into our models, and it never will. Among the James Webb Telescope's most overlooked discoveries is not a visual image, but a strange frequency. While measuring the background noise of the universe, Webb's instruments detected a faint rhythmic oscillation, one that does not match any known cosmic phenomenon. It's not a pulsar. It's not gravitational waves. It's not cosmic microwave background distortion. This frequency repeats at precise intervals, as if it were generated. Some astrophysicists have started calling it the heartbeat beyond time. 
Others are more cautious, suggesting it might be a signature of exotic matter, something that could exist only outside the boundaries of our universe. And here's the chilling part. This frequency is not random. It follows a mathematical pattern, as if something, or someone, encoded it to be discovered. One of the telescope's unexpected findings is a huge imbalance between what we see and what we feel. Galaxies located at the farthest distances appear to have enough gravity to bend light, distort space, and even affect surrounding structures, yet no visible matter is present. This isn't just dark matter, it's something else. Some researchers now believe Webb is detecting massive gravitational anomalies that don't correlate with any known source. These phantom mass fields act like cosmic fingerprints, pressing down on space-time from a place we cannot see. But where are they coming from? Some theorists are beginning to suggest the unthinkable. We're seeing the shadow of another universe, colliding with our own. What if everything we see has a mirror image we cannot see? Not metaphorically, but physically. A fringe theory once dismissed by mainstream cosmologists is gaining traction again. That there exists a mirrored universe, where time flows in the opposite direction, and the laws of physics run backward relative to ours. What's changed? The James Webb Telescope has captured evidence of particle behaviors and rotational patterns in distant galaxies that suggest asymmetry, as if two different cosmic systems are overlapping. It's as though our universe is being pulled in one direction, while another one, just out of reach, is moving in reverse. If true, we may not be alone in the multiverse. We may be entangled with a shadow reality that reflects our own. In a final twist, one of Webb's long-range instruments was tracking a light signature from the edge of the observable universe. It was expected to fade. It was expected to disappear forever, as most light from distant sources eventually does. But then, it reappeared. Not from the same direction, not from the same time, but with the same spectral fingerprint, as if the light had been sent out and bounced back from something. The telescope had just observed a cosmic echo. But echo of what? There are only two possibilities. Either the light circled back around the curvature of the universe, which would imply that space is finite and closed, or it hit something else. Something at the very edge. Something capable of reflecting light. Something that shouldn't be there. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to peer into the past, to reveal how the universe began. But instead, it has done something far more terrifying. It may have shown us that our universe is not alone. The impossible galaxies, the phantom masses, the mirrored patterns, the pulse, the echo. Each discovery chips away at the illusion of certainty, at the comforting idea that we understand where we are, when we are, and what we are. A Nobel Prize winning physicist warned us, this is not our universe. And maybe that's the truth we were never meant to face. Maybe we're drifting on the edge of something ancient, massive and indifferent. A deeper structure, a larger reality, a universe behind the universe. So now the real question is not whether we're alone in the cosmos, it's whether we're even in the right one. Let us know in the comments. Do you believe the James Webb Telescope has already seen into another universe? Or is our understanding of reality just beginning to crack? Subscribe and turn on notifications because the cosmos just blinked back. And whatever it is out there has seen us.